This week in Louisiana agriculture, hearing loud horns near your home that you have not heard before will tell you how it could save a life. Also, saving agriculture one child at a time. We'll show you the strategy all across Louisiana. And in Holly Clegg's trim and terrific kitchen, Holly and AJ show us how Louisiana beef might taste in the city of brotherly love. Hi, I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us. Michael Dana is on medical leave. There are nearly 3,000 miles of rail in Louisiana, according to Operation Lifesaver. Many of those miles run through fields growing Louisiana's top money-making row crop, sugarcane. And right now, we're in the middle of grinding season when farmers are working long hours cutting cane and hauling it to mills. That's why Union Pacific is having its train conductors blow their horns at every rail crossing. The law only mandates that trains blow their horns at public crossings like streets and driveways. However, because there are so many tractors, harvesters, and trucks crossing rail lines in usually vacant fields, you might hear train horns blowing near your home when you have not heard them before. This whole initiative of blowing the horn at all crossings started with our engineers, the guys that actually drive the trains, because they see it during the, the sugarcane season. That's a, you know, several, three, four months of just intense work from the farmers. Some of these guys are locals and know these farmers, and they, they want the trains to be safe, and they want their, you know, their residents and friends to be safe farming out there. Teshe says once grinding season is over, the extra horns will come to an end.